So doctor, I am not having any pregnancy symptoms. I think I might have had a miscarriage, but when I do a urine pregnancy test, it is still positive. Am I still pregnant? So basically, you know, as we know, a urine HCG test is usually done to confirm whether you're pregnant or you're not pregnant. Usually you might see just one line instead of two lines, or you might see a faint line with another line to confirm that you're pregnant. But there are scenarios where you might actually see a faint line with the other line and you're not really sure if you know this is pregnancy or is this not pregnancy and you're wondering am i still pregnant especially if you're not having any other symptoms of pregnancy such as breast tenderness nausea you know fatigue mood swings and you had the symptoms earlier on in your pregnancy and bear in mind that when you had done the urine test it has shown that you were pregnant and also added to the fact that you've not had your period it could be that your period is normally every four weeks and you've not had your period for the last four weeks and these are all the signs that points to pregnancy. Now the problem with doing urine tests is that they can actually be positive even four to six weeks after you've miscarried. Signs of miscarriage in some women is quite obvious. They might have cramping, spotting or bleeding, abdominal pain and just not feeling that you're pregnant. And the problem with doing urine tests is that it doesn't actually give you numbers or tells you the value. You're basically relying on a line to tell you whether you're pregnant or not. So here comes the blood HCG test, also known as serum HCG. So the serum HCG test actually gives you values or numbers that tells you not only if you're pregnant, but it also tells you roughly how many weeks that you might be pregnant. So here is an example of a chart of the HCG test. As you can see at three weeks, your levels of HCG will be five to 50. So you're still early on in your pregnancy, but at four weeks, it's now between five to 426. If you go down to nine to 12 weeks, you can see it's weighing its hundreds of thousands from 25,000 roughly to 288,000. So if you're not sure if you're still pregnant, you can actually do the serum HCG blood test and you'd expect the values to double over a 48 hour period. So for example, if you do the blood test and your value is 50, if you repeat the blood test in 48 hours time, you would expect the value to be over 100 or even 200. However, if you do the blood test and it's 50, and you repeat the blood test 48 hours later, and it's like 60 or maybe 40, then that is a sign of a failing pregnancy, either as a miscarriage or an ectopic pregnancy, or it could be way too early to do a blood test because your hormonal levels are still fluctuating. So you could be one to two weeks pregnant. So it's always best to maybe repeat the blood test again, either the following week or in two weeks time. Now serum HCG tests are best done when you're less than six weeks pregnant because it is too early to do an ultrasound scan. An ultrasound scan done less than six weeks would not usually show a viable pregnancy because they cannot locate the heartbeat and that can lead to anxiety in pregnant women. Also bear in mind that when you have miscarried and you're doing the ACG urine test, they do take a while for the levels to drop. So for some women, it could be that you lose 50% of the ACG in seven days, while for other women, they lose 50% in 24 to 48 hours. So if you lose 50% in seven days, maybe you then lose 20% in another seven days, 10% in another seven days. And this is why you keep on testing positive for urine tests. Also bear in mind that even though you have miscarried, you might still have some products of conception of the tissue within the womb that's still producing the HCG, which is the hormone that's normally secreted by the placenta. And that gives you signs of what we call a false positive pregnancy test. Also bear in mind of what we call a molar pregnancy, which is an abnormal pregnancy where there is no baby, but the placenta tissue is producing HCG. And this happens when the sperm fertilizes an empty egg. And a molar pregnancy is usually seen on ultrasound. So therefore, if you keep on doing urine tests and they keep being positive, then it's best to go for a blood test or a serum HCG test to confirm your pregnancy and also to confirm how many weeks you might be pregnant. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to share, like, and subscribe.